Welcome to the Albert S. Cook Library at Towson University. This brief video will introduce popular, scholarly, and trade articles and how to differentiate between them. When you come across an article, ask yourself, who's writing it? Who's reading it? Let's start off with scholarly articles. Scholarly articles are written, as you might guess, by scholars. Scholars are typically scientists or professors. Scholars have certified expertise earned through educational degrees, often demonstrated by credentials after their names. The target audience for scholarly articles is other scholars, including college students. These are usually published in academic journals. Scholarly articles often have a clear structure with section headings like abstract, introduction, and conclusion. They cite their sources. Any visuals in scholarly sources are likely to be tables or figures. These articles are often more than 10 pages long, and they use special terminology or language that is specific to the topic or area of study. Now, let's go to popular articles. Popular sources, on the other hand, are created by someone in the public for the public. They are typically created by journalists or others with interest but not expertise in the topic. When scholars share their work and ideas publicly, such as via a personal blog, that is also a popular source. Popular sources are written for a general audience for the purpose of entertainment and general knowledge gathering. Some examples of popular sources are newspapers, magazines, and blog posts. They usually contain pictures and are short in length. And finally, trade articles. Trade articles are written by journalists or professionals with experience in a particular industry for other professionals within that industry. They're published in trade magazines or journals. They enable readers to stay up to date on current industry practices. These articles are visually similar to popular articles. They sometimes contain photos and are short in length. Have more questions? You can contact us by chat, email, text, or individual appointment. Learn more at bit.ly slash tu ask a librarian. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, we're here to help.